Alejandra Lara. She is looking to reverse her fortunes, trying to snap a three-fight losing streak. Diana of Saragova, she missed weight and was deducted 20% by the California State Athletic Commission, so 20% less money in Afsaragoba's pocket as we go to the tail of the tape. You know, you can take, she's got a perfect record, but when you miss weight, that's what it's marked on here. 128.8, that's way overweight. She's got a job to do, and she didn't do it as far as making that weight. Here's Michael C. Williams. Tonight here's Bellator 290 prelims will go now to the flyweight division scheduled for three five minute rounds introducing the blue corner at five foot seven she weighed in 128.8 pounds she's undefeated as a professional with five wins no defeats ladies and gentlemen they have a Pantero Asanogama and across the cage, her adversary out of the red corner at five foot seven, weighing in 125.8 pounds as a professional. Nine victories, six losses. She is the former Bellator flyweight title challenger, Alejandra Azul Lara. And the referee in charge, Jonathan Romero. Good. Guys. Lara looking to snap the longest losing skid of her career while Afsanagova, her three fight Bellator winning streak tied for the third longest streak in the division. Where is my third judge? Where's the other judge? The judge? We're missing a judge. Missing a judge. Lara's made a lot of changes, working at different camps, John, to try to snap that losing skid, get back on track, and trying to just find different opportunities to, to improve. And... All right, ladies, here we go. Round one, fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Fight. Alejandra Lara right at this moment. She's got all the skills to be a tremendous fighter. She just needs to put them all oh. out Counter right hand. Of Saragova, and then it was the left from the Southpaw Lara, but of Saragova already landing two right hands. We saw Saragova put a knockout, one punch knockout blow. In her debut. Lara <laughs> Graf, so 29 know, seconds. We know she's got some snap. There's again the counter, perfectly timed by of Saragova, and Lara needs to get her head off the center line. And see Laura out of range, but of Saragova able to keep her at the end of her punches with the counter, John. Yeah, and what you saw right there, you saw her move her head off to the side and get out of the way of that punch, but she's got to do that continuously. She can't do it just once. And it's Laura with the three and a half inch reach advantage. Laura immediately snatches the waist lock. And it was of Saragova who told us that due to injury, she hasn't really been able to showcase her wrestling pedigree, wanted to show that she's a complete MMA fighter and there's some good uh, wrestling takedown defense. I will tell you, I've watched her wrestle and she is a dynamic wrestler. She's got a beautiful German suplex. She can wrestle and so this fight, as I look at it, is all dependent upon where does she want it to be? Does she want to be in a stand-up battle? Does she want to use that wrestling to try to take Laura down? But Laura can be dangerous from her back. And again, that right hand continues to find a home for Saragova. Both ladies are, are throwing big shots right down the pipe. Oh, and that counter, I mean, the counter has been like a metronome. And it's been the left hand for Lara and the right hand for Saragova. And as Lara goes for that 
inside calf kick of Saragova, able to read it and immediately time it with the counter and beginning to bloody up the face of Alejandra Lara. Oh, she's been money with that right hand. Every time she's throwing it, it's finding a mark. Just past the midway point of the first round. It's been the counter right hand of Afsara Gova that's been the difference as Laura goes for the head kick. And now Laura trying to make it a firefight with Afsara Gova. She better be careful considering the precision of Saragova thus far. Well, and what you're seeing, you know, think about what you're seeing out of Saragova is straight punches, Moro, for the most part. Not a lot of looping shots, straight punches down the middle, and that's why they're getting there fast. And Laura just continues to remain on the center line. She has to step off, create angles, and avoid the, the offense of, a Sar of Saragova. A minute and a half left here in the opening five minutes of this flyweight matchup. Jab by Absaragova connects. And see, unlike Laura, Absaragova circles uh, away and resets. And again, you saw Laura, big looping punches. Absaragova, she circles out of it, gets away from all those shots, none of them land. That was a nice lead, a right uppercut by Laura that did manage to connect. Again, she has the reach advantage, but it's been Absaragova that's been precise. The right hand has just been a laser. Popping the head back of Alejandro Lara. The right hand again by Saragova. And all that you're seeing, that's all distance and timing. Yes. Saragova's got that distance down. Lara keeps lunging. Well, Lara's as gutsy as they come, as courageous with so much heart, and she's trying to march forward, but of Saragova's counter-striking, as you mentioned, John, the timing, the distance, proving to be the difference in round one. She needs to get off that center line, John. I know it's, it's not oversimplifying it, but that's exactly what she needs to do. All right, Great angles. Better ready. Better ready. Bang. Yeah. Round number two. The ability to use your feet. That's where it all starts. That's your foundation. Calf kick by Lara. Showing of Saragova different looks, switching her stance back to Southpaw. Body kick by Lara. And of Saragova just very patient. Bouncing up and down and again, just waiting for the opportunity to counter. Yeah, her big thing, so right now she's she's wanting Laura to come towards her. She's waiting for that counter. That right hand is just cocked and ready to shoot out again. Every time Laura brings that kick up, just like you just saw right there, you see her stepping forward to meet that kick and throw the counter right hand. Yeah, she picks up on Laura's tail. Like it's yes. it's it's immediate as soon as Laura's thinking about the, right. the yeah. kick. She's all it's like someone's giving her the script. Yes. Of Saragoba circling to her left away from the well, southpaw power and again touches up the face of Lara. Norla a, a, a nice you know counter right hook. But she's really got to start moving that head off that center line. There it is going back again. You cannot put your head back side to Unless side. Unless you're able slips. to do a pull counter like a Floyd Mayweather, but uh, you know. How many guys do that well? <laughs> exactly. But Lara, nine and six, four knockouts, three submissions. Sar of Saragova, five and oh, with a knockout and a sub as action heats up here in round two. Both of them landing decent strikes in the right hand again, popping the face of Lara by Of Saragova. It's almost like when I used to tell 
play Guida. Man, your hair does not help you in a fight because <laughs> even when you don't get hit hard, it looks like you are. Yes. And Laura's got all that hair and it's just moving all over the place, telling the judges that she's getting smacked. Finally seeing some evidence of the jab, flashing the jab. They're feigning and they're Laura avoiding the lead right hand of Saragova. A little redness on the left side of Saragova's face. A little blood out of the nose of Laura. Push kick by Lara. Back to Southpaw. Jab by Lara. And Saragova misses with the counter right. Midway point of the round and the fight. Again, Lara sticking out the jab. A lot of single shots, not much in terms of putting combinations together. And we've seen Lara diversify her attack, but Saragova very content to keep a textbook. One, two, and of course the counter right. Yeah, you see it, Lara is trying to use a, you know, a kickboxing attack, utilizing the range of a kickboxer, and Asarago is basically being a boxer. She's just sitting there waiting for that, stepping in. And landing. Landing that clean shot. And you have to be impressed by Asargo as far as the technical aspect of the way she throws those punches. Nice crescent kick there by uh, Lara. There's a stiff jab by Lara, and again, Asargova able to evacuate, circle to her left, utilizing the footwork, and again, John, all textbook, all fundamentals. This is why she's undefeated right now. Yes. We've, we've seen it, we've seen her dominating fights, we've seen her struggle in fights. But with this right here, against a solid you know, fighter like Alejandra Lara, she's just sticking with her game, and you can see the difference. A minute left in the second round. There's a lead right hand followed by a left hook from Saragova again circling to her left. 45 seconds left in the second round. And Laura steps in, lands her left hand, and then gets countered with a jab from Saragova. But that's the commitment, and now Laura landing some of these looping shots. Laura's kind of decided I'm going to bite down on the mouthpiece and I'm going to go after her. But she's doing some damage there. That was clean left hand right there. And Matt, wild swings, but some of them are landing for Laura. 20 seconds left here in round number two. It's been the chaos of the offense of Alejandro Lara and just this, you know, of, of Saragova, much like her countrymen, just very stoic, very calm, cool, and collected, and very much just wanting to deliver those strikes. But Laura is coming back and landed some good shots there in round two. He did, and they're going to remember those near the end. That's what they're going to remember, so. All right, here we go. Fight around. Fight, you ready? Fight, you ready? Fight! Third and final round. Laura spent the last month in San Diego, California, working with Alima Lay McFarland, but she's also trained in Mexico, Colombia, and Brazil, racking up those Frequent to flyer points, man, but again, just trying to break this losing streak, whatever it takes. There's a deep to the midsection of, of Saragoba by Lara. Inside calf kick by Lara. Lara diversified her attack, trying to mix up punches and kicks while of Saragoba's stuck to her boxing. She has she's stuck basically to a straight boxing. And again, Moro, she's got really good wrestling and she could take Laura to the ground in this fight. She has that level of wrestling. She wants to be in this boxing range and utilizing her hands, so she's keeping the fight where she wants it. What we saw from Laura at the end of that second round is what I think Laura needs to do in this third round. You know what, crush that space on her, make her pressure, throw a lot of shots. A rare low kick by Absargova, but then she got her head popped back with that yep. stinging left hand from Laura, and another left hand from Laura that lands, and there's a right hook that lands for Laura. So Absargova has definitely tasted the leather of Alejandra Laura. But it's not taken her away from her game plan. It's not 
No, she disrupted sticks. her in any way. She sticks with what she wants to do. She does not get flustered, and she goes right back to just being in that position where she's looking for the counter strikes. Lara steps forward, sits down, and just drills the straight left down the middle to the nose of Saragova. Under three minutes left in the fight. See, there's one thing They're I think. the jab. Lara needs a, a couple more feints. Feints. She's giving some feints in here now, giving a look. And you're seeing sometimes the Saragova actually start to bite on it. Sometimes she's not, but. If you can get a Saragova to, and you can get her to counter, then you can counter that counter. A uh, sidekick there and counter upstairs by Saragova. Lara beginning to find the range. Yep. No doubt about it. Throughout the last half of the second round and into this third round, the range factor has changed up. Lara knows exactly what range she needs to be at and is landing shots. Counter, well, yes, nice jab that stopped Lara in her tracks momentarily. But she's done a better job with her jab from Southpaw. There's a wide right hook by Lara upstairs. Man, nice combination. Of Saragova. Needs an uptick in the offensive well, output here with a minute and a half left was, in the round. I was just going to say, she has stopped with combinations. She's going more towards one or one, two shots, while Lara, when she goes, is throwing in more combinations. And, and that may be in response to the fact because Lara's been able to yeah. land some stinging shots. In, inside calf kick, lead kick by Lara. So she's mixing it up. Final 60 seconds of this flyweight fight. I think both ladies need to figure out, I need to do something to win this. Fight. And I think Lars trying to do just that. Ty Plum knee strike up to the face of Saragova, so much more aggressive Alejandra Lara. And I, you know, that's exactly what she needs. Saragova is making a mistake. If she's thinking that she's winning this fight, don't think that. Think that I need to win this fight, and I need to do something to prove that I deserve it. Jab to the sternum by Lara, and a kick. Wow, she's really looking to score with that crescent kick, and she lands again the right hook. Uh, we attempted a oblique kick by Saragova, trying to say, hey, I can kick too, but less than 15 seconds left. Will Alejandra Lara snap a three-fight losing streak? Is up Saragova going to extend her three-fight winning streak? It's up to the judges to decide. She's admitted that the last few years have been taxing on her mental health. And she's, well, gave it all she got here tonight. Let's see who emerges victorious. Here's Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we'll go now to your three judges at cage side. Your first, Habi Muhammad Ali, scores the fight 29-28, seeing it for Al-Sarangova. Your second judge, Jonathan Marigliano, scores it 29-28, seeing it for Lara. Your third and final judge at cage side, Rafael Davis, scores it 29-28 for the winner. By split decision, Diana Pantero of Saragua.